here and joining us to to this workshop uh, where we're um, um, where we're launching the ultimate YouTube Shorts playbook together with uh, Paul and Asle. Welcome on board, guys. Hi, hi everyone. So uh, before we we get starting, we go straight to the points uh, and. Um, I hope you're going to enjoy all of, all of the suggestions that are very hands-on. So we want to make your life easier. Uh, and so we actually got together the, the key golden rules that are going to make you succeed on, on YouTube through the YouTube Shorts before anybody else does. I will leave the stage to Aslo and Paul to introduce yourself. OK, I'll go first. Hi, my name is Aslo. I work with YouTube. Uh, sorry, in Buzz My Videos for more than six years. And I uh, work with brands and publishers uh, and optimize their channels. And today I'm going to walk you through the YouTube Shorts playbook, uh, which we created also with uh, Kamala. And uh, I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Paula. Um, my name is Paul. I am the CEO and co-founder of Kamua. Um, you can check it out after at uh, kumo.com. Don't go there now. Um, and uh, we are a, the world's first uh, browser-based, cloud-based uh, repurposing solution to allow you to take your YouTube videos, uh, your longer form YouTube videos, and convert them into vertical videos like YouTube Shorts, where you're basically taking advantage of our API and cloud computing technologies so that your marketers and your content and community managers can do the work that your editors then don't have to do. So that's my brief intro, and we'll talk a little bit more later. Brilliant. Thank you very much, guys. And as for myself, my name is Paolo Marinone, and I'm co-founder and CEO of Buzz My Videos. Uh, I've been in the YouTube space for quite a while. Um, and one of the reasons we're launching today, the playbook is also based on the experience we had at Buzz My Videos and, and at YouTube before. As I was saying, I was uh, YouTube uh, before launching Buzz My Videos. We were uh, together with my co-founder, Bengo Atama. We were at YouTube back in the days, 2006 to 2011, very early days. And then launched Buzz My Videos, which is the, the leader service provider for scaling and hyper growth um, on YouTube for brands and publishers and record labels. So, why uh, why YouTube Shorts and why uh, we are very positive on, on, on this new feature of uh, YouTube? Um, the reason is uh, this new feature is actually very early in its launch. Uh, there's a huge demand. There's a huge opportunity in being featured. Um, there's a very uh, small scale of, um, of supply of content. Uh, why there is a big opportunity to be found. So the thing is, as always, YouTubers are going to be there first. Usually, creators are like the, the they know every new feature in and out in the first day of launch, basically, if not the first and the second day of launch. Um, brands and publishers do take a bit longer to get used to the new features. Uh, but for like, the reason why we actually wanted to 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 boost your uh, knowledge about this, and uh, the reason is um, it is important to actually take advantage because there's some growth that we haven't seen in ages on YouTube. It's really really hyper growth um, and exponential growth. So if you've been on YouTube for a while, you know that exponential growth is not that easy on YouTube, but now is with the YouTube Shorts. And because there is a shortage of supply of content, there is a really good opportunity for you, for your brand, and for your publisher as a publisher to actually be there first. Um, at that's especially for English language, but not only. Uh, if you're not publishing in English, there's no problem. So if you are indexed by YouTube before it's launched in your country, that's good anyway, because the thing is, the, the algorithm will pick it up, and you have been there first. And being in the early days in a platform is always a very good thing. So the chances of success are very high. So this is why we really urge you to do it and to do it now. Now or in six or 12 months' time is going to make a very big difference. So just play around with it, just uh, test it out, and make the most out of it, because you can actually get hyper growth right now. 
Now, a bit of uh, <clears throat> housekeeping, and then I will I will leave the stage to to Azl and Paul. Um, we're going to go through the playbook uh, as we speak, right after uh, this welcome speech, and then uh, we're going to have time for Q and A uh, at the end. Feel free to start with uh, writing the questions down um, on the chat bot uh, on the chat uh, box. Uh, we're going to get any questions later on. We're going to follow up to any one of you that registered online uh, with the playbook. So you're going to receive the playbook and the on demand of this video. So you can watch it anytime you want. And we're going to be happy to answer any questions you might have even after this, this event. Uh, you, you will know how to find us. And it's not that difficult online, isn't it? All right. With no further ado, I will leave it to Asla. OK, thank you, Paula. I'm going to share my screen and go with that playbook. Please let us know if you can't see my screen. And um, it should be. Hmm? Yeah, OK. I think you can see my screen. If not, please let me know. So uh, how it started, YouTube Shorts started uh, back in September and YouTube launched this YouTube Shorts in India first. So with that, I mean that uh, on the app, a YouTube app, uh, they put a section called Create a Short, you can see in this red frame, and uh, they asked the creators to create short videos. So, and uh, they supplied a new camera, camera tool, speed, music, and time options. And, uh, but this app, in this app section, only allows the creators to create 15 seconds long videos. So it has been a success in India. And after that, in March, YouTube launched this in the US. Uh, first in India, because uh, TikTok is banned in uh, India. so. The YouTube wants to get, you, this is also YouTube's answer to TikTok videos and TikTok success. And now it's uh, launched in March in US. And, but that doesn't mean that uh, you can access uh, YouTube shorts in other countries because although this app feature is only in India and US now, if you go to your app, you will see on the home screen that there's a section called shorts, YouTube shorts. And YouTube features a lot of new videos, or maybe uh, uh, produced and created before videos on this section. And this, when you go and play something there, it automatically uh, skips to the next video. So uh, the thing is, like how you can make shorts, I have, or how you can benefit from shorts is like your videos should be uh, like 60 seconds or less long. It should be a vertical or a square format video. It's good that YouTube suggests that you need to add, it's good to add a YouTube sh uh, a short hashtag in the title or video description. Even though some videos you can see this, like the stay goal doesn't have the short uh, hashtag. It can also be featured there, but it's better to be on the safe side and add the uh, short hashtag there. And you can use any device you prefer to film and upload the video. So what's very important is like this short section on the home page, because uh, being featured on YouTube home page is very, very difficult. But because now YouTube is pushing shorts a lot, uh, you have the chance to go and uh, when one of your videos can pick up and you could be featured on the shorts. And uh, YouTube, uh, sorry, Google just announced that uh, by March, uh, the daily views of short videos have reached 6.5 billion daily views. So it's really good uh, opportunity to be uh, to have the chance to be featured on the home screen. So here are like uh, three reasons why you need to make sure. But the first thing that is, is like the home page shelf, you can have the uh, chance to be featured there. The second one is the audience reach. So TikTok is mostly known for uh, like uh, having a younger audience and younger creators. But on YouTube, you can find gen uh, Generation Z plus 
the Generation X, which is like a higher, uh, like um, a bit older uh, viewers. You can both reach the TikTok viewers and, and all the generation there on YouTube. And the third one is you can uh, give a different experience to your uh, viewers. You can create shorts and you can be trendy. And if you start doing it now before it gets really big, you will be a pioneer in this section. So we urge you to make shorts uh, as soon as possible. And uh, when you create a short, uh, as you create your own videos and when you're uploading them on your channel, uh, the optimization uh, is very similar. You need to add text, you need to add the description text as you are doing your, for your normal videos. You can add cards and you can add screens, but if the video is 20, uh, uh, five seconds long, uh, as we said, uh, you can add the, you should add the hashtag uh, short hashtag in the title or video description. Here we want to show you something, a video example that one of our team members have uploaded this on YouTube and it's really a very, very uh, like new video. It has been uploaded on the 2nd of February this year. And this is a very a new channel as well. So it hasn't, it wasn't gaining a lot of views. But in two days, really, just in two days, this video has made it uh, by chance. Like it picked up, uh, YouTube picked up this, and uh, the viewers uh, wanted to watch this more than anything else on that channel. And this uh, video has reached more than 55,000 uh, views in just two, three days. So this is a good example that how you can reach to a wider audience in just one or two days, even though you are setting up your channel setting up a new channel, you can reach very high numbers by the YouTube Shorts channel. Um, sorry. And there's another one that I would like to share. Is This is from AC Milan. So they started uploading uh, Shorts. They followed the trend very early, in the very early days. And uh, when they were filming uh, these kind of like, not from the actual games, like from the trainings as well. So they put this video and added the shorts on the video title and they gained like more than 24,000 uh, views. So they are one of the uh, first uh, channels who are using uh, shorts and uh, optimizing them. And uh, YouTube also uh, shows where the traffic is coming from. So if your video is like picked up as short, you will uh, then see it on your traffic source on the analytics, YouTube analytics that on the traffic source, you can see that uh, the views are coming from the short. So this is one of the videos uh, we tested on our, uh, one of our channels. So from this, because this was also not a new video, it was one of our old videos, but YouTube automatically, because YouTube is pushing this very much, uh, they automatically put this on the short shelf and people watched it and this channel gained uh, short uh, uh, views from the short. And the other thing is uh, creating content. Uh, there are two options to create shorts. You can start creating from scratch by using your phone or some other like an uh, app for creating vertical or square videos. Or if you have an archive, a, a very good content and you want to repurpose it and market it as a like a new short video, you can have access to uh, like a uh, different kind of tools. And one of the tools is like, is a uh, Kamoa that uh, Paul is going to talk about. I think we can go back to Paul and he can talk about how you can use this uh, software to create new, or uh, sorry, to create, uh, to repurpose your current content. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Great. Thank you. 
Uh -huh. um, I, that was really that was really cool. I'm uh, looking forward to hearing the feedback from the people that use the playbook. Um, so I'm going to uh, share my screen, and it's going to just take me a second to move my monitors around with this app. And here we go. Okay. So let's uh, see if we can go full screen. All right, perfect. Now, I just want to give a, a very brief overview of what our product does and, and why we've built it. Um, what you'll see here on the screen is fully automated technology that we have developed um, that allows non-editors, so that's people who are, for example, content marketers, community managers, et cetera, to create compelling short form videos without having to film the video directly in vertical. So using the app to film directly in, in vertical. Um, and uh, it's also uh, a way of taking your existing content that you have in your archive. So the evergreen content or content that you want to go back and refer to in the past or content that you just cannot uh, ever risk filming only in vertical. And you can use that content on YouTube shorts. And this is a very simple tool that uh, we built. Well, we say it's simple. It's it's kind of like if you can use Microsoft PowerPoint, you can use this tool. Um, and it's kind of an introduction for a lot of marketing teams to start getting into editing uh, video. So we have teams around the globe that are starting to use uh, and edit video directly themselves for the first time. And uh, as was correctly pointed out, it's a repurposing tool. So it's the goal is to take content that already exists and then to change the purpose of that content. So no longer to engage a long form audience but um, to uh, engage a short form audience. Okay, so that's an example of repurposing. Now, as I start to uh, unpack this, I take off the, the phone frame and unhide the rest of the video. And you'll see that this is a Shakira music video uh, from YouTube. Um, and so the, this is useful across many different types of content. So I'm going to show you another example. Um, here's an example of a video that is a pad Thai uh, uh, video for McCormick Spices, and we're going to quickly make that into um, a short. And the way we do that is we have brought the video into Kamua, and our technology cuts the video up into its component shots. So this is accurate. You can even see there was uh, some frames that were left inside the original video, uh, which our AI found. So the AI is capable of uh, cutting the video up into its component shots, which creates this storyboard. And from the storyboard, you can then choose which pieces of the video you want to turn into a short. So I've pre-selected this just for the uh, time that we have available. I've selected these shots and I've added them onto my timeline down here at the bottom. I know this may look a little bit complex, but once you get into it, I'm not a video editor and I use it. So um, we, uh, we have lots of people that are not editors that, uh, that use our product. Um, and then one of the other things we have in the automation is you've seen the tracking, the automated tracking that tracks people on the screen. We also have automated captions. So you can see here where you've got the caption and you can click on the word to go to um, that particular uh, word. So you can see here, for example, I know that pad tie, I wanna change that to capital pad, capital tie. Um, and then we, so we have a captions editing system that is pretty easy to use. And you can also customize the fonts that you wanna use in there as well, colors and some various other options. So I can very quickly just say, right, it's pad tie. So I'm down here now on the timeline and I'm capitalizing pad tie. So I've got capital P and then I've got capital tie and then we've got noodle. So now if I wanna go in and edit the word, I can I can do that as well, just to show you that I don't just need to use a, a keyboard shortcuts. I can then render the video. And once I've rendered the video, I can share it. And if I share it, for example, with a QR code, uh, anybody that has a mobile phone that can open up the phone and use the camera to scan the QR code and they'll be able to uh, view that video on their mobile phone. Um, it also works well with sports content. So here's another example um, of a video that has been uh, imported that was originally a BT Sport 16 by nine video. And here what we've done is we've gone a, a step further in terms of complexity and we've asked the artificial intelligence system that we've built to track the ball. Um, and what that does is you'll see that the AI will follow the ball um, across, the, uh, across the screen. And then when we mask using the show hide button, you'll be able to see what happens when you've got your short on the screen. 
And the final piece is we haven't we haven't uh, processed the automation here, but I can do that by just clicking this button and asking the AI to make its own choices. Given the size of the player uh, here on the screen relative to the rest of the screen, the AI is going to most likely uh, center the body, but it may also center the face. So here it's decided, for example, to focus on his face. And if I just add the YouTube Shorts overlay, you'll see now that you've We've now got back to square one where we started with Shakira, and we've uh, created our our highlights. So, uh, so there is a, a very brief overview of our platform, and uh, I'd be happy to ask and answer any questions in the Q and A. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Um, I think that was a, a brilliant presentation. Um, just to, to share with the, with the audience today, when I well, we we met with Paul like a while ago, actually, and then when I always thought that it was a brilliant product, and then when Shorts was was launched, it was like okay, it's a, like the light bulb. It's it's a no brainer to be used, to be honest. And the key thing in uh, especially for Shorts. Um, while we think about the whole chain of creation, distribution, and optimization, usually what scares the most is the creation because it, it's a normal way of thinking, oh my God, I need to think about another format. That's the typical kind of approach, which, I mean, fair enough. We have so many platforms, so many formats, so many different ways to interact with the audience. So that would be absolutely okay to have that approach. But the reason is it, what, what, the, the light bulb came because with uh, with a software like the one from Kamua, the thing is you can actually repurpose most of the content you have, which usually is pretty much a lot of content. Um, and for every piece of content, you can actually get quite a few pieces of new content. So you don't have to create, you really need to repurpose uh, in a creative way. But the easiness of the tool make it like make your life way easier. So that's why we thought that it does really fit into the creation, distribution, and optimization bit very well. And it would solve problems rather than create new issues on, OK, I need another editor, and I need to actually do more work. Instead of the, the key point, especially with shorts, is to be fast and effective and repurpose as much as you can, to be fair. And I think that's um, the, the key highlights of, um, of the playbook and, and why we think that you really need to try shorts are that um, there are very few key takeaways that we would like you to remember. First of all, really repurpose everything you can and test out. Uh, and that's on the creation side. Um, the second one on the distribution is super simple. It's like you just need to follow the three golden rules of what's the format, could be vertical or square. In most of the cases, you can do vertical, but uh, if you like more the square because it's closer to what it is already, like go for square. I mean, it doesn't change much. Uh, it's more of a, a style. The key thing is that square or vertical will go on mobile, and that's the reason why they're launching shorts, to be fair, because the usage is on mobile. That's it. And, uh, and add shorts in the description and in the title and be lower, make the, the, the time lower than uh, 60 seconds. Um, and on the optimization side, optimize as always. So you always need to do custom thumbnails, uh, tags, description. It's a normal video, so treat it as, as such. Uh, of course, for example, the custom thumbnails are extremely important. If you go to the homepage, you really want to have a good thumbnail. And by good thumbnail, it doesn't need to be super uh, graphically perfect. It needs to be catchy. Uh, and catchy might be just having a close-up of a face instead of a, 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 like a, just an image that you don't understand what you're actually looking at. And the CTR will, have, will be very happy afterwards, and you will be happy because the audience would click very much into, in, into you in watching your videos. So that's, uh, that's, that's it, really. It's that simple. And that's why we think that it's a really great opportunity for you to try, and it doesn't have to make your life difficult. It needs to make your life way simpler. So with that said, if there is any question, we're happy to take any.
In the meanwhile, while we take questions, we are just uh, saying hi to Anton and Matthew. Hello, guys. Glad to have you here. So Anton is asking, you mentioned a few examples of different types of content that could work as shorts. How might business delivering abstract services tell a story in shorts? Well, that's a good question. So in most cases, we think that the longer the video, the better the message. It really depends. Um, and on YouTube, well, there are golden rules, but the reality is really depends on what your audience is looking for, okay? Uh, I've been in the space for so much time that, I mean, the golden rules, I know there are golden rules, but there's always a 10% cases that are not meeting the golden rule at all. So, for example, we work a lot with uh, universities, and universities tend to have very long videos, not very short. But the reality is that there are some type of audiences that really want long videos, but sometimes the same audience might actually want to know like the very short version of it, the highlight, or they want to see just the, the one key point, which could stay in 60 seconds, to be honest, like the, the, the key message, and then expand in another video. So for example, you can think of a, a, like, a, a, like a, a full class of a well, university class, for example, uh, that could be like 45 minutes, but there are like the key messages might be three, the key takeaway. So you might have three shorts, one of which is the key takeaway, and then they would refer to the longer version of the video, and you might actually have both. So you might have three videos being the three shorts with the three takeaways in the, in the long form, and, the, and they basically create like a virtual circle, and they actually create a positive impact at the end of the day. So it's a really a different way to look at it, and it doesn't mean that the whole content should sit in, in these 60 seconds. They might be very short to say a whole story, but they actually might drive traffic to the longer version. And you leave the audience to choose. Do they, do they want to spend 60 seconds, or do they want to spend 45 minutes, or both? Yeah, that's a, that's a very good point. And Paola, thank you for the introduction and, and detail you added later um, about the timeliness of, of YouTube Shorts. And Anton, the what I would add to what Paola just said about abstract services is um, for sure there's a competitive set, right? You know what your clients, uh, your competitors are doing. So the people that are pitching to your same clients um, and you can look to them to see if there's anything that inspires you or anything that seems to be resonating well. So if you see things like high comment engagement or lots of likes uh, as a ratio, um, then that might be a good indication of, of content that you can borrow from uh, as inspiration. But something else that you can do as well is you can use um, you can use art, you can use Creative Commons uh, content that uh, that inspires you or that that reinforces the message of the services that you're trying to sell. So abstract services can mean lots of different things. Right? But um, you know, if you're, for example, if you're a lawyer that's uh, that's providing certain kinds of services, maybe it's peace of mind is what you're selling, and peace of mind can have lots of expressions through video. So um, you know, it may be an abstract thing, but it it in terms of what you might be selling. But there are definitely content examples. Um, and there's media that can communicate the emotions that you're trying to get your customers to buy into. Any other questions? Come on, guys, don't be shy. Well, I've got some questions. Um, if uh, nobody else is is uh, is, is, is has got any questions yet, so Paolo, can you tell us a little bit about um, you? You talked a little about Kamua. We got to show our product. The Shorts Playbook is there, but um, how does your company uh, see uh, Shorts? And uh, I know you've talked about an opportunity um, for Shorts in general for companies to repurpose their content and create new content. Um, you showed the AC Milan examples for uh, so. How do you, how are you measuring? What is your company doing that's measuring the impact of shorts? And can you give us a, just a brief, brief overview, especially for the people that have uh, joined through an invitation of ours and don't know you? Mm -hmm. Perfect, sure. So what we do uh, in, in a nutshell is we have a scalable solution, a tech solution that allows us to, to get hyper growth uh, on YouTube. And the key point for us is we drive revenue from and on YouTube. So we do leverage YouTube uh, in any single feature they have in a scalable way. So we can manage 
dozens of thousands of videos in one go by, for example, like optimizing everything for video SEO, but as, at the same time to drive traffic, for example, from the YouTube channel to an external page that's uh, driving traffic for like a uh, subscription elsewhere or like uh, downloading or buying a uh, merchandise, for example, if it's a sport club, for example. Um, the key thing for us when, when we're talking about shorts, the key thing is um, growing audience is hard and that's even if you're like best in class it's hard because it's a it's a very competitive uh, landscape there on youtube right now but uh when we see shorts is like uh the, the very early days of youtube uh where there was not so much content but still like going for example on the home page uh, at a certain point it was possible uh, up to a certain point going to the home page right now i mean raise your hand if you had gone to the, to the home page you probably remember the times you went to the home page if you have so you probably remember i went on the home page with my brand once or twice and you would remember exactly which video went there because it's a thing and now with shorts is like you can get there and uh, for short period of time or longer period of time that depends on uh, how the performance is and how the algorithm favors your content versus other content because of performance so uh, what we are doing and basically are suggesting to all of our clients no doubt to leverage more and more the shorts for the short format and make sure that that format drives traffic towards objective inside YouTube and outside YouTube. So if it's driving subscription inside YouTube or driving uh, more views towards playlists, because they can be optimized as much as the other videos. So imagine you have a thousand videos or a hundred videos in your channel and easily you can create another 10% of those videos by just doing shorts, by right? just definitely repurposing anything you have. It's 10% more content that drives traffic towards the other contents you have. So you have new playlisting, you have new curation, you have um, you have new audience coming in and discovering your content, and then you want to keep it inside and then transform that uh, towards uh, marketing API. And that's uh, a huge opportunity. That's why we believe that brands and and publishers should definitely jump on this ship. And there you go, we are getting questions. Anton, mm -hmm. so what do you mean to say is that you do need to physically feel something in order to do a short? That's it, Anton. That's exactly why we think that there is a big opportunity. I mean, if you can do brand new content, go ahead and do it. But you do have dozens and dozens of videos already. So just get those videos, use the Kamua software, make sure you basically repurpose that and you get 15, 30, 45 seconds of like the key message from that video that you have. And that's it, done, that simple. Yeah, no, that's, a, that's a great point, Paola. Yeah, um, Anton, you, you do not need to uh, get out your phone and, and start filming new things. Um, you just, uh, as, as Paola said, you can just take your existing content and just make sure it's either in a square format or anything less than square. So anything from square to vert full vertical, um, make sure that it's 59 seconds point, maybe three or four, just in case YouTube recoding uh, moves in over one minute magically. Um, it needs to be less than 60 seconds and it needs to have hashtag shorts in there. Matthew. Okay. Hi, Matthew. So two short questions. <laughs> I like the irony. Uh, I like the sense of humor. So should we be creating a wider vertical thumbnail? And is there a golden rule in terms of average duration? I think, Asle, you are the best person to answer this. Um, yeah. So the thing is, like, when you uh, put a vertical thumbnail to you, this video, it will show on your uh, home page when you have your shorts, that there will be a gap between, because the uh, video player is always getting the video format, not like you see on your mobile, but like when you see it on the home page, it's like, it's wide, it's horizontal, and there's this vertical on the center of the video. 
So it will be like if you create a um, thumbnail as vertical, it will not be very good looking on your channel. But if you create it uh, like a vertical one and it goes on to the YouTube shorts, so it will be shown as vertical. So uh, I don't know what the best answer is because, you know, when you have it there, I think it should be uh, like if you have a good vertical one, a good thumbnail, vertical thumbnail, I think it, it will also look better on the home page, on your page. And if it will have a chance to go to the YouTube shorts, then it will definitely be really good to have a vertical thumbnail there. But, you know, we can't guarantee, nobody can guarantee if one of the, like the video you, you chose to create a vertical thumbnail will go on to the YouTube shorts homepage. But I will recommend, because we did some uh, short videos for our uh, YouTube channel as well, and we created ver vertical thumbnails for them. So yeah, we, we use vertical. Yeah, if you're worried, you can always do square. Um, so, yeah. you know, because it's always the kind of, uh, yeah. you know, in, in between format and, uh, you know, you don't miss anything. And also there was the second half of there the was, a, was about yeah. um, the, the duration. Is there any suggestion on best duration? Well, um, we've seen that if you're looking for uh, lots of repeat views, if it's short, then um, you can, on some platforms, repeat views count. So Paola, do, do you guys know yet whether looped views count towards multiple views or is it one? Um, Sorry, say it again, I was missing out. We don't um, know it. Yeah, do we know yet? Yeah, um, there's no, there's information on yet. TikTok. Some people say that on TikTok, for example, they've seen that mo you know uh, looping the video oh. will generate multiple view counts, and other people say well, that that's not the case. I wouldn't count. I wouldn't count, I wouldn't count on it. No. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just really. depends on. I think if you want to, if you there's also potentially, and I, again, I don't know the YouTube side that maybe you guys do, but um, it's also potentially that the completion rate counts as well. So the short, you know, if it's if it's 15 seconds, you'll get more people that make it all the way to the end. So the key thing Definitely. that I would suggest is on the, the minimum duration to actually being able to add uh, cards or, or end screens, um, which is important because then you would actually create like a positive circle towards other, other content. Uh, that's the only thing that I would really say that would matter because that makes a difference. If you get the audience in, you want to keep that in and that to keep it in you want them to actually show, you want to show the the end screen because they're going to stay there for as much as 30 seconds. What's the limits, Asli? I don't recall exactly what's the, the minimum seconds. 25 seconds 25. for adding an end screen, yeah. All right. So definitely yeah. at least do 25 seconds, so 26, yeah. let's say, so that you can add an end screen. So after 25 seconds, you can get the, the subscribe to the channel or you can get the watch another video so at least you get them to do an action yep. the next question i think was hi if i upload a video in the ordinary way and adding hashtag shorts will it be shown in the short section uh that depends if it's the right format so if it's not the right format it's not going to work out so yeah so the ordinary uh, way can't uh, be a 16 by 9 it must be a square or uh, full vertical and then yeah. and it's less than 60 seconds and then you need to add the hashtag shorts right as well correct yeah does it need to have shorts in the title it's uh, youtube suggests to add it like in the they in their blog post they suggest that people add shorts in the title or description it will be better to add it just to be yeah. on the safe side have it in both places yeah, yeah both places And there we go. Another question from Manu Napolitano. There are forms of links with social media like Facebook that can increase the audience of YouTube shorts. Um, well, to be honest, because of how shorts is working, it's actually the other way around. So shorts is actually the way to get more audience compared to a normal, a normal video. Um, and so the, the suggestion is to use shorts to drive traffic to whatever other content you have. Uh, instead of trying to drive traffic to, 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 to shorts, because 
if you get to the home page with chores, if you usually will get, I don't know, a thousand views of a video, I'm just making up a number. If you just go to the home page, it might start with 20 or 50K views. So the key thing is actually to get more shorts that, uh, so that you can get more chances to get to the home page. So at the end of the day, you're driving traffic because of that, not the other way around. All right, let's see if there are other questions. I see more coming. Good. Is there any way to access this from in the UK, not India? It, uh, the, I think you mean uh, the app in, in app format of uh, creating a short video. At the moment, no, because uh, if you go and check from your uh, phone, if you are living in the UK, you won't be seeing this great short. There's only, they are only in uh, US and India, but as we said, it's not uh, like a barrier for not, uh, for this, there's no barrier. Uh, you can still shoot a video from your uh, mobile phone and upload it and add the uh, hashtag shorts and you'll have the chance to be featured in shorts and it will pick up your content as shorts, even though you're not in India or US. So, yeah, I think this is where the big confusion yeah. is. Yes, definitely. Yeah, because I think that yeah. it was communicated in a way where it, it, it was available only in, in India first yeah. and then now in the US. So most of the people we're talking to, they're like, okay, it's not available in my country. So in the UK, it's not available or whatever is not available. The beauty of it is that, that it's while the app might not be available, fair enough, you can still do it. And actually, it's even better if you do it right now because you're going to get featured in India, US, and then whatever else as soon as possible whenever it's going to be launched. So that's why it really matters to do it now because most of the people think it's not available. So yeah. that's the, the, the first mover advantage, to be honest. So the app is not as important as just upload the content and, and tag it as shorts. As, as uh, well, it needs to, of course, uh, meet the, the criteria that we were saying before, like less than 60 seconds being vertical or square. That's it. That's that simple. Then whenever there is the app, you can definitely do it through the app and you can create new content. But uh, for now, you can repurpose or create content. Whenever you create it, you can actually create it in whatever format you want. It doesn't really matter to have or not have the app or wherever you are. No oh, question for me. How does Kamoi charge for its software? Uh, the staff canteen. I will uh, make a note to go and find you. Um, yeah, great I mean, guys. Yeah, I, 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 I can see inspiring chefs. So that uh, I, I, I'm Lovely an asp content. aspiring Lovely chef. <laughs> Definitely, I'm not an inspiring chef. Um, so the way we charge is either completely self-service. You can go onto our website and, and just buy a self-service plan and uh, just get started. Um, if you need it for access for more people, um, you need multiple people to go under the same account, for example, um, just uh, send us an email uh, you can, or just contact us through the website and uh, we'll discuss a team plan with you and we can customize the team plan to your needs. So um, the cheapest price is $1.99 <laughs> per month and then uh, it goes all the way up to, we, you know, we, have, uh, we have customers in the hundreds uh, of uh, dollars per month and uh, soon to be more. I thought you were saying hundreds of thousands. Not yet. Oh, yeah, we're working on it. <laughs> yeah, we're working on it. We just launched in March, so we're only two months yeah. old. Our two month birthday is coming up. Yeah, and, and growing massively, which is great. Yeah, we have, I see a couple of, uh, a question from one of our early access uh, customers and partners on here. Uh, so we have Leela. And her question is, hi, most shorts traffic seems to come directly from the homepage carousel. Do you have any tips for getting picked up by the algorithm and being featured there? Video length, title length, etc. That's not one I can answer. Go ahead, Asla, all yours. Okay, so um, when you go and search for some tips on the internet about like being featured, or like uh, how to get there. There are some tips that YouTube also, uh, they share themselves that, but they are mostly for the creators, the tips they are sharing, but to, uh, to be uh, like uh, what to say, what they are saying, what they're advising, suggesting is, 
uh, you need to be authentic, like uh, good content definitely always is the key, like original. And sometimes it's more like um, uh, they were featuring some uh, content, like uh, as if it is like a creating or like, how can I say, mm, reacting to things as if, like if you are a creator and you do like a rich girl reacts to something or being in the Zoom call every day, that. They, they were literally, uh, you was uh, suggesting a content, creating a content like that. But as we said, it's for creators being original and creating like some uh, theatrical content from scratch and being funny and these kind of things. So that was one of the uh, first things they suggest. And if you go and check, or uh, there's another uh, way, to, you can go and check on your app you can see on the shorts that what is being featured there. There are like so many variety of videos that it's like, it's a very, very big uh, content there. Like it's from sports to gaming, from music to, uh, you know, vlogs and everything is so it randomly picks up. As we said, one of our team members, like this dog video, is like, you know, pets and animals are always very good uh, content on YouTube. But this was a very, like an early day video for that channel. And it just picked up in just two days and gained more than 50,000 views. So you need to try and see. And uh, one of the videos got that much, but the other ones didn't get to that point. So I think it's a bit of like trying as well. So yeah. uh, you need to try and see. And because you don't need to put too much effort in like creating three minutes or something like that, it will be much easier to create content for shorts and keep trying and see what is working. And then you can focus on uh, creating that uh, content for the future. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is that as well, like the, the algorithm is learning right now for, for, for YouTube. So uh, most probably that what's happening is they are reading, so the algorithm is reading the performance of the videos and deciding what to f uh, what to favor or not to favor. So there is no certainty on that. So it's really trial and, er and, and error. And the more you can do right now, the better it is because uh, you're gonna teach the algorithm too. So and not just the other, the other way around. And also like when, like the example that Asli was mentioning that she was showing is like, that's the type of thing that don't happen like you if i mean if you're being building your audience you know that you just don't upload a, a random video in a completely empty channel with no subscribers and you get fifty thousand views and 500 subscribers it just doesn't happen so i think that's why there is a, a urge to say okay it's worth a trial you know you might decide not to do it lo uh, for long but you have to try because if that works you are going to regret if you haven't even tried. Yeah, One of the things I'd add just from our experience on some other algorithmic discovery is that um, something like shorts where it is, it, it's the algorithm is not trying to show your content to your followers. It's trying to show content actually to people who don't know about you. So it's a discovery uh, item. And of course they want to drive the greatest engagement. So for them, for YouTube, um, the, the goal is to try to get as much engagement on a particular piece of content. So there, you know, you're, you're one of the things is to experiment. And of course, the faster you can, you can produce content, the more of it, uh, you can experiment with, but, um, it, it's, it is not the same thing. And this is, this is, this is not directed at Lilo. This is directed at, you know, anybody who, who hasn't experimented with shorts or algorithmic discovery systems yet. Um, it's not the same as a story. Stories generally tend to be, uh, for the followers of your brand, for your subscribers. Um, people who know you very well, and so there's inside jokes or references or things like that that you can you can point to people who are familiar with you. And shorts, think of it as more like um, you know, like putting an ad into an ad network almost, and then you know the algorithm will pick up that ad and uh, and show it to people. But in this case, it's free, so you know it's a it's a great free advertising tool. And if you look at some of the other results that are coming from from data that's been published, um, some brands are getting 150 to 180 percent organic reach. 
um, uh, to their own subscribers. So not so even though I say it's not for your subscribers, um, they're seeing a huge amount of organic reach. So I would imagine that you know the YouTube algorithm is not going to be that drastically different in terms of how it shows content. So the rule of thumb would be experiment, try lots of different things. Don't be too worried about view count. I've seen people with two views on YouTube short and the very next one in the playlist has 100,000. So it's it's not about people that found you know your your YouTube page and then scrolled down to your shorts playlist and then started watching shorts and everybody missed the first one. It's just that the first one only got two views, but the second one got 100,000. Um, another little hack is you can create a shorts playlist I believe it's in the playbook. Um, and uh, you can also then share the link to your shorts playlist. So if you really want people to you know, go in and have a look at your, at your shorts playlist, you can also share links to playlists. And I think you, you actually touched on a very good point, which is uh, it is really to gather new audience. Um, actually, if I'm not wrong, the notification bell doesn't, it doesn't work. So that you don't get the notification if you are subscribed to a channel. So it's really meant to create new audiences, and that's the whole purpose of it. So, and then you need to actually make them loyal to you. So once they discover you, then you keep them in, and that's a that's a really important uh, part of it. So I guess if we don't have any further questions, we are gonna get to the closing of these events. No more question, guys. Last chance. Three, two. One, time is up. All right, so thank you everybody who joined this workshop. Uh, it was a pleasure to share with you this, this opportunity. Uh, we are gonna follow up now with, um, with, uh, with the link to this video if you wanna watch it again. And, uh, and as well, the ultimate playbook because that's what we wanted to at the end of the day. And uh, just keep trying. Uh, if you have any questions uh, about YouTube Shorts or about YouTube optimizations, creation, just answer to the, to the, to the email we're gonna send out and we're gonna direct it to either if it's us and Basma videos or to Paul and Camua and we're gonna just direct to the right person. Um, it has been a pleasure to be here together with Paul and Asla. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. And I uh, just want to, I'll be a human uh, YouTube shorts algorithm. Uh, and also a, a big thank you to Leela for, for joining. Uh, go check out the Met Museum's YouTube channel. So uh, you you heard it here first. If you're not following the Met Museum on YouTube, it's, uh, it's a wonderful museum uh, in New York City. And uh, Leela is one of their video producers. So please go oh. check that out. Sounds great. Cool. Thank you, everyone. Have a lovely thank afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.